This is News 8 at 5. A local businesswoman is making a name for herself thanks to Oprah. Yes, yeah, she's offering advice on how to deliver bad news. Hear what she has to say coming up next. Breaking up is hard to do, whether it's firing an employee or ending a relationship. But there is a right way and a wrong way to deal with it. An article appearing in this month's O Magazine features a local businesswoman who offers important advice about delivering bad news. You're fired. Ouch. Nobody wants to hear those words made famous by Donald Trump. Have I ever been fired? Yes. He says it was traumatic, but it doesn't have to be. For example... We're here because your performance is just not where it needs to be. There is a way to deliver unpleasant news. You can learn how to be tactful in this month's O Magazine. The Dear John Talk and other dreaded conversations. Eight ways to make them easier, kinder, gentler. It's the do's and don'ts for giving unpleasant news, both personal and professional. Come right out and say it. Don't beat around the bush, don't sugarcoat it, don't avoid having those conversations. San Diego communications expert Dana Bristol-Smith contributed to the article. The owner of Speak for Success coaches managers on how to be effective in giving both good and bad news. Be straightforward, be honest. That's the most important thing. Um, Diane thought she was doing that when she wrote a Dear John letter. Just, you know, it's getting you out of the situation of doing it versus confronting the person. But Bristol Smith says never use the grenade approach. It's where someone just tosses out the bad news and then they run and take cover afterwards. You want to be able to have that person who's sitting across from you maintain some dignity. She also advises show up in person. No emails, voicemail. Face to face is better. Consider the setting. A birthday or anniversary party is not a good time for bad news. Rehearse a little. And the impulse might be to memorize exactly what you're going to say. But what you want to do is just know what you're saying at the very beginning. Express empathy. She says it's okay to say, I'm sorry this is upsetting you. And let the other person react. She says it's natural the other person will be emotional. Bristol Smith says she would love to be on Oprah's show and talk about how women can climb the corporate ladder. For more information, go to cbs8.com and click on the hot button.